Hi and welcome to the show. Barcelona. I'm so tired. This is family friendly. This is the last episode of Three Minute John. Da -da -da. Or is it? <laughs> Hi and welcome to Three Minute John. And now the news. Samsung phones are sending user pics to random contacts. You know when you take a photo and you don't want anyone else to see it? Maybe because it's personal, or it's something dear to you, or because if anyone else saw it, you would lose all your friends. <laughs> well, Samsung has a bug that says, F*** your privacy, I'm gonna send random photos from your gallery to random contacts. Why? F*** you, that's why. Several reports about this issue have been posted on Reddit and on Samsung's official forums, some users speculating that this has to do with the push of RCS messaging updates because all the photos were sent via the default Samsung messaging app. The forums indicate that the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus devices were affected but might not be the only ones. Now, I want to report a problem as well because I was very thrilled when my good old trusty Samsung Galaxy S7 got the Android Oreo update last week but since then I've been getting notification sounds and vibrations and when I looked at the screen Screen, there was no notification. It was a ghost notification. Da -da -da! Maybe it does that when it sends a picture to one of my contacts. There it goes again. I, I just don't get it. What John, who the hell is in this picture? I, it's a... Uh, a Samsung official said they're aware of the reports and their technical team is looking into it. But until they look into it, you can revoke Samsung's message permission to access your storage. It's that simple. John? You traitor. HTC is slowly dying. The Taiwanese company HTC is laying off 1,500 employees from its manufacturing division. And if you think that's not a big number, because clearly HTC has hundreds of thousands of employees, not quite. 1,500 workers represent 22% of the entire HTC workforce. So it's a big deal when you lay off almost a quarter of your employees. And this comes after another batch of layoffs earlier this year, when they combined the smartphone and VR divisions together. I don't think that marriage will last very long. They stated that the 1,500 layoffs from the manufacturing division were made in order to restore profitability. How the hell can you restore profitability by laying off the people that make the phones? What will you sell? A new product from HTC. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Nothing like this has been made until now. Nothing will be the same again. It's the new nothing. M13 from HTC. Only $3.99. Get it right now. Let out. I think that's the actual marketing of HTC. I don't really think that HTC will manage to get back to its former glory. Because in January this year, they sold the entire design team to Google for $1.1 billion. Then their share price is at the lowest point ever. And the latest U12 Pro didn't impress anyone with its squizzable controls thing. So is this the beginning of the end for HTC smartphones? Should they focus on making only VR headsets? Will this be my last episode? Da -da -da. Leave a comment and let me know. Get the new HTC Nothing Plus for $599 and get a free cover for free. Oh my God. What? I'm getting fired? Well, that's just great. Let me storm out. <laughs> me right up the ass. Microsoft foldable surface phones. Windows 10 for you? You still alive? Yes. <laughs> it seems like the upcoming trend in mobile devices is foldable phones. Because they bend and bending is cool. Oh my god. Jeez! I, I take that back. I take that back. How the hell do they... Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, sh oh, ow, ow. 
The Surface phone, codenamed Andromeda, has been in development for a few years now and seems to be a mix of previous Microsoft projects like the Courier and the Surface Mini. The pocket-sized foldable phone might look a lot like this 3D concept, which was created by David Breyer using existing Microsoft patents and might be available within the year. Well, it looks like Samsung with their Galaxy X might have some competitors over the foldable phone market. We don't know how much the Surface phone is gonna cost, but be sure it won't be cheap because the Galaxy X is rumored to cost around $2,000. Holy sh**! Samba! Samora ma! I think it's that expensive because it can send photos to random contacts without you knowing. I don't really know how to feel about foldable phones because they don't exist yet, but I like the idea of a pocket device that can extend to a 10 or 12 inch display. But then again, I'm skeptical about the durability of a foldable phone. Also, that price tag. As my Hebrew friend would say, Ech. Well, this is the last episode in partnership with CyberGhost. This show started in collaboration with CyberGhost and I thank them for everything they did for this show and for all the money they gave me. But now it's time for us to part ways. It's not you, it's me. And if you ever want a VPN, this is it. I'm not going to film the episodes in this studio anymore and Chuck is not going to be my editor. TRAITOR! But fear not. It's not the first time I'm doing the episodes by myself. Remember when the stupid idiot was in the hospital? Hi and welcome to the show. My devil man. Idiot. I did it alone. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna be okay. Ah, it will suck. I want to thank Juana for making all this possible. Robert for supporting this crazy idea. The, the idiot, idiot is back. back. And Chuck for putting up with all my shit over the past two years. Fuck off. And you guys. You are the best and I'm gonna keep making videos for you. Now I gotta get some sponsors. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John and until next week from my new studio. Keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Oh. You really not coming? No. Come on, man. It'll be fun. No. Come on, man. No. Okay, let's go. No. You'll see. It's gonna be so much fun.